What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC here. So I'm gonna make this intro pretty quick so you can watch the running video. Anyway, this is the Ford Mustang GT4. It is a kit from Tamiya. It does have the brushed motor in it and that's what's running in here right now. It's bone stock. The only thing that's, you know, that you gotta put in here, you gotta put a servo, you gotta put your own receiver in there and you run a, your own battery. I'm running a 2S LiPo battery in there, Jen's Ace 50C Discharge, 5,000 milliamps. And I have the little synchro radio here. This is actually a Kyosho radio. But those are things that you would have to get for the car and go more in depth on that at the end of the video. But as of right now, yeah, I didn't put all the stickers on. It's a lot to cut out and they're not pre-cut out. So you have to use an X-Acto knife and cut all that stuff out. But anyway, enough talking about it. Let's just check out the video and we'll get back at the very end what I think about this car. All right guys, final thoughts on this vehicle. And it's pretty good. It's not a bad vehicle at all. If you're in the market for one of these and you're like, yeah, I like the kit. I do like cutting out stickers. God bless you if you like cutting out stickers because uh, I don't like cutting out stickers. I wish they were already pre-cut. Then I could just peel them, slap them on the car and I'm good to go. It's a little too much tedious work for me. So I'm gonna pass on most of, most of those stickers. Uh, yeah, it's not my thing. I like putting the car together. That's a fun part, doing that. But uh, yeah, stickers, nah. Now, you do want to go with oil-filled shocks. This thing is bouncy, and it would be even worse if it was a truck. I would say, yeah, you want to definitely go with oil-filled shocks if you bought a truck of one of, you know, something of uh, to me, and they give you friction shocks. So this car, it's not, it's not the end of the world having friction shocks on the car, but it does have some bounce to it. So if you're looking for it to be perform better, go with you know oil filled shocks and also go with bearings in here and you guys can chime in like what other things that you've done to it you know I know there's a lot of you guys probably like oh I've got mine to go such and such speed cool but if there's any other kind of things that you've done to it you know the perform you know for enhancing the performance of it then definitely leave a comment I would like to know about this thing you know it's kind of like a ram air it doesn't do anything, it doesn't touch the motor, and of course, plastic's not gonna pull heat from the motor anyhow, but uh, it'd be nice if it was aluminum. I would, that'd be cool on that part of it. This thing, I'd really just kinda cut that out. I know it holds the switch in over here, 
and almost like cut that out and then slap a little heat sink on there with a fan and be good to go on that part of it. Um, since this is a LiPo and this is, again, this is a Gen Zay's 5,000 milliamp 50C discharge battery. It might be over, it's definitely overkill for this setup anyhow. When I means this, the uh, 50C discharge doesn't need to be that high for something like this. But, um, uh, so you wanna, if you wanna go to LiPo mode, you can look at the instructions, whatever too, but you just hold, you know, you turn the switch on at the same time holding down the set button and you'll notice there's a little LED light here, a little window. Once it goes green, you just let your finger off of the set button and once it's green, it's on LiPo mode. And that just, the LiPo is basically there to protect this LiPo from going below the voltage that is, well, damaging for this battery. Uh, I don't know what the exact is, you know, what this is cut off at, but I would say maybe like 3.2 or 3.4. That might be a little bit high, 3.4, but somewhere right around in that ballpark, um, I would say that this is, is gonna cut that battery off there way, that way. Um, anyway, guys, definitely leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of this car. Feedback, it's cool, you like it, think about getting one. Again, we got them at omgrc.com. A lot more RC stuff there as well. And until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care and thank you for watching.